Hello, this is Alan Wheeler on my channel where I usually talk about tarot and spirituality. And because I had seven or eight views on the last two videos, I thought I'd add to this series that I'm calling Devil's Advocate and doing uh, infernal readings, satanic or left-hand path readings of the... Um, sacred writings and my cat is here joining me hello gilbert so i want to continue in genesis and i'm going to keep to my short-lived traditional practice of ripping out the passage that i want to talk about and this is genesis 4 the story of cain and abel and i'm going to get a pen here um, to mark it up a little bit. And so uh, this is the familiar tale of the two brothers and the first murder. And um, just as a reminder from the past videos, rather than looking at these stories through the filter of years and years of systematic theology and rigid religion, I want to, want to go back and realize that these were originally, especially in Genesis, folk tales that were passed on by word of mouth in an oral tradition. Scholars also say that probably at this time and long after the, um, these people and even the um, early uh, Semitic people shared the same practices and gods as the Canaanites. And so we have the name Elohim, and many of the names of God are El, El, um, and the, the name of, which is the Canaanite uh, name. And only later, probably, was the Tetragrammaton of Yahweh, if that's the pronunciation, was afterfacted into some of these stories. Um, so at the time, the um, people were engaged in the same practices, um, worshiping on the different high places, making sacrifices on the different high places, in these early parts of the um, stories and not much different um, and not um, having the prescription that you must worship the one true God on the one true at the one true place. So looking back at these stories, um, we can kind of uh, try to get a fresh look. And at the time, I would wager that these stories were countercultural, and that these were the rebels and revolutionaries. Now, um, I imagine uh, that today, Satanists or left-hand path uh, followers would ident identify more with Cain, who became an outcast and murder and and so on but i think it was rather um the reverse if you go back to the original story now i will step back a minute and um bring in the tarot to say that we do have this picture of the first conflict and something of human nature is explained in this folk story i'm reminded of the tarot Card, the Two of Swords, where we see conflict. And this can be within the self, uh, the struggle of the human heart, uh, inner debate, or it could be within a family or group, uh, some kind of uh, struggle of brother against brother, as we see in this story. And so from the Deviant Moon Tarot, uh, this is depict depicted quite well as the Siamese twins are embattled and uh, one against the other. 
And again, this could be within a group, um, within the self as well. So in this tale, I want to recast it um, kind of back to the more what might have been the intent in the original and give kind of an infernal reading um, that will be might be considered blasphemous by uh, fundamentalists or orthodox uh, readers. But, but first of all, um, Abel was not the firstborn. Um, Cain was the firstborn and had the rights of inheritance. And so uh, Abel could be considered the outsider or the underdog uh, in this story. Actually, the, out, the, the lesser one. Um, also, Abel is earthy. He's of nature. He um, is a nomad or a, a wanderer, and uh, he tends the, the sheep um, and travels. He's, um, his sacrifice is the blood sacrifice of the animal. And so uh, this is in contrast to Cain, who is the city dweller. And we learn um, later in the story that uh, Cain conceives and he builds a city. So he's a city builder and, and not a wanderer. Um, and he's kind of the uh, picture of the organized urban life. And um, he's kind of like may maybe the, t the people of the tower who band together and build up, um, try to build that stairway to heaven that I talked about in the previous video. And so he becomes the one to say, am I my brother's keeper? And uh, we get that we do get that picture of the outbreak of violence. So um, I think the original story invites does invite us to empathize with Abel. However, uh, at the time, um, I just want to remind myself, remind anyone watching, that that was countercultural. Um, that was the outsider, the one who wandered away from the, the city and the organized uh, religion, perhaps. The free spirit and the wild, the wild one. And so perhaps he is more, at, at the time, in the original, maybe more of the left-hand path uh, or adversarial um, to the culture than uh, Cain, as we have come to interpret it more in recent years. So I hope that's some good food for thought, and I'll post this in the series of Devil's Advocate, kind of a reversal of a reversal in the reading, an infernal reading, if you will, of this story from Genesis. Thank you for watching.